welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Truly grateful. How many channels you could be watching? You're watching, man. The bar in some parts of Southeast Asia is so low that men are foregoing assistant living in nursing homes to come here. You say, well, how low is it? It's so low that they can't see it and they trip over it. It's the opposite of the West where it's so high that men can't see it and they walk right underneath it. You say, well, what are you talking about? Well, look at Holda from the Today Show. 58 years old. She left her live-in partner of six years and now she's back in the dating scene. But the first thing she said, believe it or not, is her bar is high. She's got a high bar. Lady, you're 58 years old. You're delusional. I don't care how many millions of dollars you got. You got a 58-year-old pussy and a whole lot of men gonna go for that. Yeah, you're gonna end up with some hustler. But that's how high the bar is over there. But you come over here, and I see it all the time. Think I'm joking. They come in their wheelchairs, their crutches, their walkers, their canes, their scooters, the blind, the deaf. Some of them can't walk. They've got diabetes. Hello? They've got psoriasis, cancer. You name it. And they come over here because they think that there's some type of healing power going on over here. And to be honest with you, it is. A lot of guys are coming over here and they're living their best lives. They've extended their life. It's what they've done, but it's similar to the placebo effect. See, I used to do those laboratory tests and get paid for them. They call them clinical trials when I lived in Cincinnati. And you didn't know whether you were gonna be taking the placebo or the real drug. But believe it or not, sometimes the people taking the placebo get better results than the people taking the actual medicine. But it also reminds me, remember when you were little and you have those preachers, they come on, and they touch the man and he heal and fall down on the ground and you know part of that was bull but another part of that was real because belief is a powerful thing this man is a powerful tool and a lot of men come over here with the belief that something special is going on over here and they do get healed but for the most part they don't. They just come over here and some woman snatches them up. Because you heard my video before, 18 to 80, blind, crippled, or crazy. And somebody over here in the Philippines is going to love you. They come over here because the bar is so low, man. They're tripping over it. And if you don't believe me, look on YouTube. It's all over YouTube. And you wonder, well, what are these women doing with these men? To be honest with you, a lot of the women, they're not really desperate. But they grew up in a culture that sees more than just looks, than the outside appearance. And they grew up in a culture where it teaches them to, to honor the man, to take care of him. So they're really not doing anything different. He's just a whole lot older, but the bar is so low over here, guys. I'm telling you that men who on their best day in their home country would be an assistant living a nursing home. Hey, good morning, man. I mean, I mean, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> on their best day, these guys would be in assisted living are a nursing home but because 
they see the magic, quote unquote magic, that seems to be going on over here. They say, well, hell, I want some of that. And they throw their damn crutches to the side. And you're like, man, it's a miracle. But it's really not, man. It's their belief in what's going on over here. They believe that they can be healed, and a lot of them are. And when it goes good, it's good over here. But when it goes bad, it goes horribly bad. There's a guy right now, I think he's a British citizen. Every day he makes a video asking for money to get home or whatever it is. I told him, I said, hey, you know, if you want to come on my channel and tell your story, you can. But I don't know you. It's too many red flags in your story for me. Especially when he said that his British embassy won't help him. Listen, every country has a repatriation program. Even the Philippines. And you read about it all the time. OFWs and in these places like, especially during the pandemic or in these places where uh, this type of civil unrest, the government would fly them back over here. But he says that he can't get any help from his embassy. But anyway, he's supposed to have cancer. Out of his own mouth, this guy is supposed to be under at least assisted living. But he's thrown all that to the side and said, hey, I'm taking my risk. And I'm going to Southeast Asia. Because we know why a lot of other guys like me come over here. The bar is too high over there. I mean, it's unrealistic. And to be honest with you, we're just like the women. Hell, we we got the same high expectations. But after you've been beat down for so long, you lower those expectations. I'm not saying that's what we're doing by coming over here. But reality kicks in. And you say, hey, I'm 65, I'm 67, I'm 69. Whatever it is, I can hardly walk. I got diabetes. On and on, man. But these guys on their best day should be in somebody's assisted living or the Susan B. Anthony nursing home. But they're over here. Because that's how far the bar has been lowered. Almost to a point where there is no bar. Now in America, the bar is high, and we walk underneath it because we don't see it. Over here it's low, we trip over it because we don't see it. Either way, men are for going assisted living and nursing homes to come over here. They say, hey, they're gonna, all they're going to do is change my diaper and feed me three times a day and take my money. I might as well let a beautiful woman do that. She can do the same thing. And I can get some kind of thrill out of it. So I'm not putting them down. I'm just giving you facts. The bar has been raised so low over here, Lord, that men are foregoing sister living in nursing home to come over here. They say, I'm going to roll the dice in the Philippines. I can get better treatment over here. And in some cases, extend my life. And in the best case scenario, be happy. Be rejuvenated. But when it goes bad, guys, it goes bad. A lot of men here lately are dying. I'm a member of a Facebook group. I won't, I won't say the name. But it seems like every week somebody's dying, an expat is dying in that group. And it's because they're sick to begin with when they come over here. They should be in somebody's, under somebody's assisted care. But they look at these videos like mine and see, I don't sell dreams. I just share with you my life. I don't share, I don't sell dreams. And if there is channels out here to sell dreams, good for them. To give people hope, but that's not what I do. You're not gonna come over here 
and you can't see and I tell you y'all come on over here it's gonna be okay because the facilities for PWD which they call it over here it's improving but it's a long way from the west I'm down here in Zamboanga City. You can see it's about uh, rush hour. I'm on Veterans Avenue in Tumaga. My son lives on down here. Now, he's probably home from school. I'm not going to pick him up until Friday. It's too late right now. I won't upload this video until the morning. But yeah, I'm not going to tell anybody who has diabetes. Which one is the real serious one? Type 2? Or the other one? Whichever one it is to come on over here because that takes extreme care as far as a physician's care. If you can hardly get around, you got rheumatoid arthritis and all of that. A Filipina can't fix that, man. Okay? I'm just be honest with you. She can't fix that. But for some reason, that's what we think. So instead of signing up for the Susan B. Anthony nursing home, we roll the dice. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. <laughs> we roll the dice and we come over here, man. And for some people, it works out. But for a lot of people, it don't. But thank you so much for stopping by today. If you don't believe me, come on over here. You're going to see it. Now, not here where I am. I'm in Zamboanga. There's not a whole lot of foreigners here. It is, but they're spread out. We're spread out here. It's not like Manila or uh, Cebu, Dumaguete, where every five feet you see a damn foreigner. But you're going to see it when you come over here. They got their wheelchairs. They got their walkers. They got their crutches. They even scooters over here. Some of them are being pushed around. Some of them can barely get around. Some of them are being led around. But they said the hell with that sister living. And I ain't hopping. The hell with that sister living in a nursing home. I want me a beautiful woman to take care of me. Because really, in all honesty, guys, they're going to do the same thing with you in a nursing home. Except you're going to get a better view over here. A whole lot better view. So if in America, by the time I upload this video, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, I hope you find somebody to help. But if you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, you're just getting off second shift. Oh, you're on your lunch break. You see somebody on the street. Buy them something to eat. Buy them something to drink. Give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's, it's rush hour right now. A little bit after 5 o'clock p.m. I'm in Zamboanga City, Philippines, visiting my son. He's headed back to the United States this month, December. I hate to see him go, but at the same time, I'm glad because he wants to go. He misses his mother. And what little child doesn't need their mother? So if you see somebody out in the street, wherever you see them, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. In the Philippines, I've already helped somebody. Now the day goes by, I don't help somebody over here. It's real easy to find somebody to help over here. That's what my channel was built on, helping people. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time.